Hello guys, so this is another video from Androidica and in this video I'd be showing you a new ROM called the Para Android ROM for the, or a Jelly Bean ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Mini. Now this ROM is pretty cool and by far the most stable Jelly Bean ROM for this device. Everything's working. I couldn't find anything that didn't work and it looks beautiful. It's completely suitable for the DPI or the low DPI of this device and you can almost tweak everything in this ROM including the DPI's of each and every app and you can switch from tablet mode to pad mode and also to the phone mode I'll be showing you everything over here for, so just let's get started with the ROM it's a pretty stable ROM to get started with you can use it as a daily ROM everything works including the GPS which couldn't work in the CM10 ROM that I showed you last week so Everything over here works including the GPS, the phone calls, etc. The internet, the GPS, the maps, SMS, phone, music, everything works. And it's pretty perfect. And as you can see the animation is pretty smooth. There's little or no lag at all in the animation. Okay. Now you see I've been using the on-screen buttons over here as my back button doesn't work became pretty lame over there as you can see so one more new thing is that uh, unlike CM9 CM9 or CM10 work other CM10 ROMs even the Google now works over here with all the cards included including the GPS positioning etc so you have a fully functional Google now with this ROM right those are my searches that's my weather card over here as you can see and more cars appear over here as soon as you ch suppose change your location etc and all ok so let's go back home so let's get started with the home screen as you can see I have 3 home screens over here but it came with a default of 5 so let me go to settings it's pretty smooth and pretty fast ok that's took some time now you go here to about phone and there you see it's Android version 4.1.2 it's SDKQ7 the version is and that's a Cyanogen Void version 10 as it shows over there and the Para Android version 2.23 as you can see over here so we'll go back right so the main thing that comes with this ROM is this Para Android settings you can go over here and it will give a new settings menu with a white background you can click on launch and select the stock UI which is the phone UI the phablet UI which quite doesn't work on this device and also the tablet UI which will give you a 720p UI which is not quite usable so we'll stick with the phone UI over here so we can go to interface as you can see the workspace UI is 300px phone mode, phone system apps is phone mode user apps is phone mode you can change the DPI of the user map user apps over there from there the system apps also you can change the status bar size and the lock screen size or the DPI of these things right so next we can go over to apps it's loading the apps as you can see I have changed the DPI for almost everything and it looks crisp and sharp and most of it fits the screen so it looks quite nice over there as you can see that's the new notification area you can click on that to clear all your notifications you have a nice little setting shortcut over there the time the date and the day of the week over here as you can see it's ASL or the sim that I am using and as you touch it as you see it will touch sign blue as you let go the color will disappear so it's quite neat and clean now there's a list of apps that's installed on my device so to change an app or how it looks all you need to do is head over to that app suppose say I choose Facebook oh no that will take some time to load up so let me choose an app that's easy to open up say let me choose messenger ok no not that so 
so we'll just go over to SMS backup and restore okay now let us see the app as it looks now it will open up as you see it's now working on 120 dpi as you can see it's working on 120 dpi so now let's go back to the settings and change the settings for this device say I want to keep it at 360 px okay and I want to change the dpi for this 200 and from the default 120 I'll save it over there and then I can go over to this one cancel and now as you see the DPI has changed everything looks more sharp and crisp and smaller on this device so that's how you can edit almost every app on this device that you have installed with so many other options that you could see after you've installed the ROM on your device now various other things that the phone after you install the ROM it comes with the default tablet UI and the settings UI and the settings page are all cumbersome so I'll attach a backup of the para, para Android settings that I have over here presently on my device and you can download it and place it in your restore folder or the backup folder so that you can restore it to obtain these settings ok so there you go I'll back up my preferences first and then I can upload it so that you can use it ok let's go back home now there's a multitasking options over here as you can see it came up so quick came up really quick and just as I said it's pretty responsive the ROM is damn responsive. You can definitely use it as a daily ROM for everyday usage. You can see that's the camera app. Wait a second for it to load up. There you go. It's a nice camera app. No lags whatsoever. And it clicks really nice pictures. There you go. Nice clickety sound and your pictures taken. Let's go back from the camera app. Okay. Now we are on our home screen. Okay, now let's show you the GPS. Okay, and that how it works. So okay, first we'll switch on the GPS. There you go. We'll switch on the GPS transporter. Come over there. And we'll open up maps it's loading it's a pretty nice ROM and as we all know since the Jelly Bean is the most user friendly and the most beautiful looking Android ROM Android version till date so this is the most beautiful looking ROM for this device as well so we'll skip that for now and there you see the GPS works it does show my location the map will take a time to load as I have a bit slow internet connection on this phone so there you go you can tap to zoom in or you can use both your fingers or the normal gestures I can't use it as I'm holding the camera in the other hand so as you can see the GPS works over there the camera works the GPS works the sound is pretty good that's the gallery app you see the battery life is pretty good it responds pretty well those are the gallery standard jelly bean gallery as you can see the auto rotation works even the home screen rotates up I show you the home screen again you rotate your phone and the home screen rotates so as you see everything works on this device you can even head over to Google now sorry the Play Store to download apps seamlessly of the PC and of the device as well which was quite absent in the stable CM9 ROM that we reviewed last time the animations are smooth as I've said before and it all works pretty well so if you are if you want an ICS or a CM9 ROM or a CM10 ROM this is definitely the ROM to go for for this device as it's very stable and very usable you can find all the links down below to the G apps to the download for this ROM the tutorial for the installation of this video and you can also 
follow us on Facebook and Twitter and post your comments on this ROM or ask for links and other stuff. We'll, also, we'll always help you out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.